Can we talk about caffeine and put down your daggers? I'm not about to tell you that you shouldn't be consuming it. In fact, research says that caffeine helps us with focus and attention, but what's the right dosage? How much should we be consuming for optimal results and the best time of the day to consume it? That's what we'll be talking about today. I'm Dr. Joe, PhD nutritionist, professional speaker, and author of Reboot, How to Power Up Your Energy, Focus, and Productivity. So, First of all, let me be clear, when we talk about research about caffeine, much of the studies have been done with consumers who drink caffeine. So if you don't drink caffeine, please don't think you have to get started. But for those of you who like caffeine, what is the best dosage? Well, we look at double blind studies. Now these are studies in which neither the researcher nor the person in the test knows how much caffeine they're getting. And they find out for optimal results, all we need is about 50 to 100 milligrams of caffeine at one time. Now, granted, we're all consuming, or most of us are consuming way more than that. A cup of green tea has about 50 milligrams of caffeine. A can, a 12 ounce can of soda that has caffeine is about 50 milligrams of caffeine. Even that small little cup of black tea or a cup of coffee, small little cup is about 100 milligrams, and most of us are consuming more than that. If you look up the caffeine content at your favorite restaurant or look at the size mug that you're drinking, it's probably about 150, 250. If you're going for the venti size, that's about 400 milligrams of caffeine or even more than that. So why are we consuming more caffeine than research shows that we need for optimal results? Now keep in mind, drinking more caffeine than that can take away from focus and attention because it actually increases our risk for anxiety, decreases our patience. So we get a lot of that ill effects like the heart palpitations and so forth that we get from too much caffeine. So why are we drinking more? And I, I realize there's a lot of people that are fighting now like, no, no, Joe, please don't take away my caffeine. I really, really need it. But here are at least four explanations why you're consuming more than you actually need. And one can be seen right there in the toilet first thing in the morning. What's the color of your urine? It's yellow. You're dehydrated. And do you know when we lose that moisture through our breath and through our skin, it can lead us to a, a, at least one to 2% dehydration level, which research shows affects negatively our mood, our energy, and even can bring on headaches for people that are sensitive to it. So we think we're craving the caffeine, but maybe what we're craving is water. So start off the morning with about 16 ounces of water first thing, and then I bet you'll drink less caffeine and get better results from it, because that's what it's all about, right? Secondly, it has to do with the speed that it takes for caffeine to get into our system to get those benefits. Now, for those of you who tend to overeat on occasion, you've probably heard the, the line about make sure you eat slowly because it takes 15 to 20 minutes for the food in your stomach to send the message to your brain that you've had enough. Well, the same principle applies because it takes a while for the caffeine to get into your system for your field of effects. If you go gulp it down, you're probably gonna consume too much and you're not gonna get optimal results. So slow it down. That big glass of water is going to help. Third, maybe really what you need is sleep. So often I hear of people, a lot of my C-suite executives that are caught up in this vicious cycle. They don't get a good night's sleep, so they drink a lot of caffeine to counter those effects. And then because of drinking so much caffeine, that prevents them from getting a good night's sleep in the evening. And by the way, if you don't believe that that morning cup of coffee can affect your night's sleep, make sure you watch my video. I'll put the link down below. But I have a whiteboard animation on my YouTube channel of something about can that morning cup of coffee affect my night's sleep? It can. It's amazing. Caffeine is a drug. So we can measure its elimination in a term called half-life. And some of that still might be available when we're trying to get to sleep, even if we don't feel the effects of it. So maybe we need to get a good night's sleep because realize when we don't get a good night's sleep, it increases the calories we consume, it increases our blood sugar and our blood pressure. So it has a lot of other ill effects. Even if the caffeine can counter the sleepiness effects, it's not gonna prevent all those other serious things. The fourth explanation has to do with something else we're not getting enough of, and that is food. So often I hear people say that they're drinking the caffeine for the energy. Caffeine has no energy. Energy is, is what we get from calorie-containing foods and drink. 
Caffeine can help us with focus and attention. It can't give us energy. In fact, we are burning calories 24-7. We think of it oftentimes in terms of how many calories we're burning when we're exercising. But you know what? All day long, we're keeping our body alive, our heart beating, our lungs breathing, our brain coordinating, all that. It requires a lot of calories. About three quarters of all the calories you need in a given day are just to keep us alive. So don't assume because we're sitting at our desk, sitting in our car commuting, that we don't need any calories. We do. That's the most important time of the day to be consuming those calories. So again, have a good healthy breakfast and don't rely upon the caffeine to give you energy. It'll fail you every single time. So there you go. Four explanations why you might be drinking more caffeine than your body needs. And hopefully if you Think about all this, you might get better benefits from the caffeine that you currently consume. Again, this is Dr. Joe. If you like the video, make sure you like it down here, subscribe to my channel. And if you wanna hear about what's new in terms of videos and blogs, then text me. Text Dr. Joe, D-R-J-O, to 22828. So text Dr. Joe to 22828 and you'll get on my monthly e-news e list. Talk to you soon. Enjoy your caffeine.